Hello everyone, this is probate attorney Justin Stivers with www.probatefirm.com. Uh, I get a lot of questions from realtors asking, hey, what do we do when we go to a listing presentation for a property that has to go through probate? So I'm gonna try to create a, a video real quick, under five minutes, and just give you all five quick tips, skills, and tools that you all can use to help you stand out from the competition. So, number one, you wanna know the basics of probate. And I'm guessing, if you're watching this video, maybe you've seen other of my other videos I've done or, or resources we have out there on probate. If not, you know, send me an email, justin at probatefirm.com. Happy to share with you more resources. But you know, know the basics. Just know some of the key terms. What is a personal representative? What is a decedent? What is the last will and testament? What is an executor? Um, just some of the basic terms. And even if you just know terms and just a few things about probate, because you really don't need to know that much to help you stand out from the competition. I can tell you that uh, I work with you know, a lot of realtors and most of them don't know anything about probate. So if you just take you know, a couple of minutes, you know, an hour or so here or there to learn a little bit about probate, I promise you're gonna stand out from the competition. Number two, you're gonna to wanna to ask a couple key questions. And the first question is ask this person that you're speaking with at the listing presentation, did the person who died have a will? Did they have a last will and testament? And if they did have a will, ask this person if they have a copy or if they can get a copy of the will. The reason you're doing this is that often a will, which is a legal document, it could just be handwritten in some cases, but it's basically a document saying who gets what of a person's things after they die. So if this person who you're speaking with, let's just say you know his father passed away, if in the will, the, the will says, I leave my property to my cousin, and the person you're speaking with isn't the cousin, then the person you're speaking with might not be able to sell that property anyways, and you don't wanna waste your time speaking to them. Number two, the second question you wanna ask is, what's the relationship to them? Again, goes to the first point. You don't wanna waste your time speaking to a person who isn't entitled to this property anyways. So if this person, if they tell you, yeah, the person who died, um, they were my third cousin, chances are they're probably not closest in relationship and next in line to inherit this property. General rule of thumb, the closer the person is in relationship, the more likely they are they're gonna inherit the property. So the, the son, the daughter, brother, sister, parents, something like that, more likely than not, they're gonna be entitled to inherit the property. But if you start getting to you know, long distance cousin, uh, distant aunt, uncle, something like that, you, know, you, you might wanna ask more questions or talk to your probate attorney to see if the person you're speaking with is actually the person uh, who's going to inherit the property. The third thing you're going to wanna to let this, this um, potential client know is how long the probate is going to, going to last. As an attorney, I get asked that question all the time from potential clients, from realtors, from, you know, from, from referral sources, whoever, uh, always asking me, how long, does probate, how long does probate take? In a perfect world, I always tell people the probate should last between four to six months on average. Again, you've got some, it could last a little bit longer, could last a little bit shorter, but four to six months is, is what, we really, what we really strive for. Uh, that being said, if you're going to sell the property, sometimes you can get the, the property sold sooner. So I tell realtors, you know, sometimes, generally we can get the property sold within one to two months of opening the probate. The probate itself might last up to six months, but, but for, your, for your perspective and for the client selling the property, you might be able to get it sold in one to two months, um, sometimes a little bit quicker than that even. Uh, number four, get the listing agreement sold. Get the listing agreement signed. That's what you're there for. You, you want to sign up this, this um, potential client. Now, if, the, if you've gone through you know, your presentation, the client's ready to sign up with you, the important thing to know here is make sure you get the listing agreement signed properly. So let's just say that this person, his name is, his name is, uh, his name is Dave Smith, okay? Dave Smith is not himself entitled to sell the property individually as a person. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put language in there to protect him. You're gonna wanna put language that says, Dave Smith as proposed personal representative of the estate of. So let's say that the person who died is Dave's father, John. So the listing agreement would be signed by Dave Smith as proposed personal representative of the estate of John Smith. It's proposed personal representative because assuming a probate has not been opened, he's not yet the personal representative. Um, and he's signing on behalf of the estate. Again, he, is, he cannot personally sell it, so this is really to protect him um, so that later down the, down the line, he is not personally on the hook. So you wanna put that language in there. And lastly, 
Um, you know, I, I'm assuming, you know, when you go to a listing agreement, you're, you're nice, you're, you're caring, you're compassionate, um, but, but probate is a little bit different and this situation is a little bit different and you really want to show empathy because this person, the nature of probate is that someone has passed away. All right, so, so you don't know this person's situation. If this was the person's father, mother, they just passed away. Maybe this is their family home uh, and now they've got to sell it for whatever reason. So this, this is you know, most likely a very difficult time. So you know, again, I'm sure you're very kind and, and nice and everything when you go to your listing agreement, but you know, just kind of think from the client's perspective that they've most likely just lost somebody. So this is you know, even more difficult for them. So show empathy. Um, so those are the five things. Know, know the basics about probate. Ask, was there a will? If there is a will, ask if they can locate it. Ask what the relationship is to the person who passed away. Let the potential client know how long uh, the probate process is going to, going to take. Um, have the listing agreement signed proper, properly as them, as the proposed personal representative of the estate, and show empathy. So those are just five quick tools, a uh, little bit over five minutes, but if you just use those five skills, those, those five tools, I think it will really help you stand out from your competition when you go to uh, get a listing uh, from a property that's in probate. Good luck out there.